We've done it again. Another massive collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection purchase, but first we have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away this Guardian Angel Joan original from Invasion of Chaos. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know what you think about the collection. I have no idea what's in here. It was sent by a viewer. It's a complete mystery to me. So we're gonna open it up and see what it is together. There's a lot of stuff in here. We have uh, three binders it looks like. We've got dragon shield boxes. I don't know if these are sleeves or actual cards, we will check. We've got some sleeves, that's actually pretty nice. We've got ourselves a nice Hoshingen BCCG. And then this tin, I think, has some stuff in it. There is sealed Pokemans in here. Mystery Cube. I think these are like the worst Mystery Cubes of all time. And then there is a, looks like a sealed Vaporeon V tin. There's more. Then we have this box. Looks like a whole other box. I don't think it's actually Konami sealed. I think it's just taped up. Never mind. This is a case of Mega Tins that I just opened. Maybe we'll open these at the 100k live stream. So let's go through the stuff that's not like sealed, you know, such as the Mega Tins, etc. So inside here, it looks like we have some random sleeves and some more sleeves. So it's just a bunch of sleeves in that one, which is cool. Always nice to have some extra sleeves and then some more. Looks like these are used sleeves for the most part. There is a uh, rare relinquished in there, which is funny. Wait, there's a couple more. Wait just a second. Oh, these are all, wait a second. These are cards. Wait a second. They're just regular rares. They're cards from Duelist packs, so they're probably not the craziest. Wait, we have Legendary Collection 3. All right. Uh, Harvey's Feather Dust. That's not bad. Let's see if there's anything crazy in here. We got a Toon Gemini Elf cost down. Upstart. Ooh, and Sol. A couple of decent cards in here. Karibo. Vampire Lord. Lumina Lightsworn Summoner. We got. Oh, Rainbow Neos is actually usually very valuable, so I'm going to put that up there. Let's see if. Th uh, that's actually a few good cards so far. I thought it was just sleeves, and it's not. Nobleman of Extermination. And uh, Infernal Sniper. After I record this video, I'm going to be live on Twitch. I think I just decided I wanted to do that. Playing a little bit of Duel Links probably today. We're probably going to be doing a little bit more Twitch streaming. So if you have not followed me on Twitch, go check it out. All right, let's double check this one again and make sure there's no cards in here. Like, okay, these look like actual sleeves. Okay, I was right about that one. Then we have the legendary... Title, the Dragon Ruler, um, it's taped together. Okay, that, that's why I can't get it open. Not because I'm weak, I just can't get it open. <laughs> Inside we have, looks like random cards. Let's see if any of these have some value. Oh, uh, yeah, that one has some value. The uh, the Frost is like a $10 card, I think. So we're going to set that over there. So maybe there is some uh, decent stuff in here. Nervals were worth a lot. They got reprinted. I think they're maybe around a dollar. So Quinglong, I know, is like $3, if that's how you say that. King of the Skull Servants is usually worth something. A lot of these cards are worth something, actually. Phone on pull. So these are all his OTS packs. We just opened some of this the other day. Go check that video out. When we open Retro Pack 2, we open Invasion of Chaos First Edition and the Retro Pack 2. All right. We got a uh, Gym Knight card. Actually, Desires is a rare. That's not terrible. All right. Marshmallow on. We got the Dragong. These are all in different order, so it's a nightmare to actually go through. Let's see. Got Dragon's Ravine, Stamping Destruction. All art flame swordsman. Okay, it's not worth anything, but it's still cool. It's still cool. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, we're kind of running dry on the good stuff. We had some. We had some good stuff there for a while, but oh, there's um, Despian is actually pretty good. All right, fusion is fusion destiny any good? I can't remember. It's either terrible or it's not. You know, that's how it goes. <laughs> either good or it's terrible. Oh, Cyberlord Fusion's like a dollar. I think that used to be really expensive before it got reprinted. Which, that's the reprint, so. <laughs> Which is like for a solid soldier. That's our Duel Links deck right there, baby. Starlight Road. And, okay. Oh, look. We got some uh, some crimping on that one from Toon Chaos. That happened a lot in that set. It was very poor print quality. Okay, we got some more. Okay, some more stuff from uh, OTS. That's pretty good. Mausoleum, Cyberstein. I mean, all those are some value. Not crazy. The, uh, the Horror House. For a while, those are worth something. I think they kind of fell off a little bit. They weren't as good as everybody thought. Ida. We got the Amazement. These are just super rare, so they're usually not too crazy. Yami, Mizurizame, Yami. There it is, the Fusionist classic. And a token. Tokens are always nice. They're always nice. Token Stampede, there it is. Utopia, we have much nicer versions than that after the OTS opening the other day when we pulled three of them. I think this card's actually pretty decent, isn't it? Oh, it's is it foreign? Yeah, it's foreign, so probably a little bit crazy to actually sell. All right, number 75, Blackluster Soldier. We've got the Spell Absorption. A Widow Anchor, that's pretty good. All right, Rekindling, the Laundry Dragon Maid, Gym Knights, Steel Swarm Sting, we got Vylon, Gusto. Oh, Master of Blast, part of, our, part of our deck as well on Duel Links. I finally did get it. I upgraded the guy to level 45 or whatever it needed to be. This guy is so annoying. That card's so annoying. 
Uh, Magicalized Fusion, that's in the Dark Magician deck, I think. Actually, I might pull that out, because just in case I want to play the Dark Magician deck. Some people are playing it, at least. Oh, DD Designator, cool. The emergency Call's not a bad common. Get those emergency calls for those heroes. Destiny Hero Doom Lord. Thunder Dragon Matrix. Spark Blaster, we got DD Crow. That's always a decent card. Is that a super? Oh, that's a super, actually. Wait, yeah, this is out of Legendary Collection GX. We opened all those first three Legendary Collections the other day. Check that one out. That one was really fun. We actually pulled this card. Kind of looked like a common right off the bat, but it's not. A few more cards out of this tin. Actually, pretty decent cards. Like, a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Wild Edge. Got a Quan. And, oh, what is that? Dystopia. And two tokens. It's a lot better than I thought out of the tin. Next, we have the Binders. So, we have the Dragons of Legend one with the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight on the front. Is there anything too crazy in here? Oh, one of the cards has already come out. Pot of Duality, Battle Pack version, whatever you call that rarity. I can't remember. A Thousand Dragon Stardust. Oh, let's see. This is going to be difficult. We got the Pecanio Moth over here. It's always fun trying to show these binders. And by fun, I mean very difficult. Sorcerer of Dark Magic is cool. We're not looking at a ton of value right now. Summon Skull. Oh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Is that a common? No. Where is it? I can't tell. I can't tell through uh, all the glare. Uh, super rare? What's EG? Does that say EG? Ego 1? What printing is this? Ego 1? It's a newer one. It says the Studio Dice on the bottom. I, I can't remember. I feel like they reprinted that recently and that was one of them. Okay, we're looking at a lot of smaller cards so far. Like, we're talking about like $1 to $2 cards. There's a Dark World Dealings. This binder did not do so great keeping these together. Like, they're kind of sliding around. BLS Super Rare is cool. Another card that fell out right here. We've got a uh, Micro Coder. All right, Utopia Super Rare. All right, one of the low rarities since he's been reprinted so many times recently. Another card fell out. These are falling out everywhere. Trap Hole, cool. Look at this. They're, <laughs> they're, oh, that's actually a nice card. Yeah, Print Solution is very good. Chaos Sorcerer Super is actually worth quite a bit because of GOAT format. Utopia Ray Victory, I think, is decent. It's good in the original printing, at least. I don't know about there. Okay, those are falling out. And that's it for this one, really. Okay, next one. Let's see. Okay, we're looking at a little more, more bling here. We've got a Tyrant Dragon LOD. That's really cool. We've got the Neo. Can we show this? Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon right there. Very difficult. Let's see if I pick it up. What, what's it looking like like this? If, but last time I was very shaky, so I'm going to try and keep it very still. Let's see how, how well I can do this. Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. Very nice. we got to avoid the mic, too. This this is going to be very difficult. The uh, Despian is very nice. We've got anything else. we got another Frost over there. Cypher Blades, okay. We've got another Frost, okay. Lots of the uh, Live Twins. Those went up a ton, so that's not too terrible. Oh, there's a Dark Magician Girl Special Edition. Axe of Despair is cool. Yeah, and this mic is, uh, let's back it up a tiny bit like this. Yeah, here we go, yeah. Oh, there's a Collector Rare, that's cool. And a Lightning Storm, that's not bad. I actually need some of those because I sold all of mine and I wish I'd kept some. Ooh, is that a Secret Rare? Time out, we gotta, we gotta do a little adjusting here. Uh, this is not Sleeve, it's the Secret Rare obelisk the tormentor it's not in a sleeve interesting i mean technically it's in a binder sleeve but that's a pretty nice card i mean one of the best cards we've seen joker straight lightning storm i mean a lot of good cards from king's court the dark magician girl Ooh, gold rare red eyes that's awesome gold rare oh dragoon is that a dragoon yeah there's only one printing so we know it's the dragoon that's nice there's a dark magician girl all right we've definitely upped it with this binder the dark magician of chaos another alternative all right very nice stuff oh cyber dark dragon original that's cool uh blue eye solid dragon i don't know if anybody even plays that but it's you know it's something and a couple more things over here we've got more blue eyes we've got oh a lot of archosaurs are these megaton version yeah they're megaton so they're not crazy valuable but pretty nice spell book of knowledge and we've got the uh you know a few more megaton cards Ooh, more Megaton cards. All, all nice cards, but not super valuable because they just got reprinted. Oh, there's the Crossout Designator. We got two of those. Three Nadir Servant. We got a couple Talents. We got some Zeus. I mean, all pretty nice cards for the Megaton. All right. Third Binder. Let's see if we can do this without having to pick it up. It, uh, we probably won't. There's a Jinzo. That's, it's not in a sleeve either. Interesting. Uh, this one's going to be a little harder because, you, as you see, it's we got Start of Synchron. All right. We're, we're going to do our best. Oh, 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 we've got, we've got some nice stuff. We've got the Speed Duel Dark Paladin. I mean, this card looks absolutely awesome. I love this card. The Speed Duel did it right with their Secret Rare promos. And as you guys can see, there is the title from the tin that we, we just saw. We got the 
Legacy of Darkness. That is an original print. And we have Iris Sword Soul. Very nice. A lot of a lot of recent nice cards. We've got, oh, I love the Secret Rare Gold, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and the Dark Magician. Especially the Blue Eyes, though. It looks really good. Ooh, Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon looks nice. All right, good stuff here. Some decent stuff. Oh, look at that Cyber End Dragon. Check that out. Let's get up close and personal with that one. That's that's pretty sick. Check this out. Ooh, you can't really see the secret too well right now. Lighting's being a little bit weird today, but very nice card. Let's see if you guys can get it. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. That's a nice card. Okay, so um, I will not pick this back up until we have something crazy. So some pretty nice cards in there. All right, I'm not seeing anything too crazy. Oh, okay, the uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon. We saw many of these in our Battles of Legend Armageddon opening. So this was this was a classic. It's a nice card. The Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon is always really cool as well. We've got a Colossus in case it gets unbanned. We've got the Ultimate Dragon. Dogmatica Ecclesia, even though it just got reprinted, but it's probably still nice like that. Ooh, the uh, Ice Dragon's Prison is nice as well. There's two of them. Very nice. We've got some Secret Rare Raphael guy. We got the Rose. We got the Haman. Ooh, Gamma from the game. I love that card. It's not super expensive, but it's nice. And then a few cards up there. We've got Jax Knight. Ooh, is that an Ultimate Rare? We got a Dark Blade Ultimate Rare. Ooh, Blast Magician. We got to look at this. There's some ultis. Oh, a Black Rose. Okay, this is uh, this is some good stuff. Oh, there's a Stardust over here. Oh, my goodness. We got a few cards we got to pull out here. First off, let's look at the Blast Magician. It's a really, really cool card. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Flaming Eternity. We just opened a box of this the other day. Go check it out. I mean, it was a couple weeks ago, but still awesome. It has that Flaming Eternity scuffing. Classic. Still very nice. Very nice card. All right, now we got the uh, Black Rose Dragon. That's really sick. Ultimate Rare. It's unlimited, but still awesome. Let's have some play on the back. A little bit of a scratch there, but still pretty nice overall. A little bit of an edge wear and a corner wear, but still good. And then we have the Stardust Dragon. Beautiful and ultimate rare. I love this card. Pretty nice condition, too. I mean, there's a little bit, but there's not much. Pretty nice condition. A little bit better than the Black Rose. Not that big scratch on the back. Ooh, that is nice. There's also an Infernity Doom Dragon. You know, there's Exteleon. We've got the Ancient Fairy. I mean, there's also other good stuff as well. And then up here. Oh, whoa, Ghost Rares. Okay, chill out. We got to look at these. All right, first off, Majestic Star Dragon. Check it out. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Majestic Star. Back pretty clean. Like, is this near mint? Wow. That's pretty nice, actually. It's like near mint. And then we have the Majestic Red Dragon. Wow, that one really shines nicely. That's awesome. Okay, that's pretty sick. Wow. What a way to end this, oh, this collection opening. All right, is there anything else? Oh, Starlights. Oh, there's Starlights in here. I kind of remember this now that he's that uh, I'm thinking about it. He was telling me about this a while back before he sent it. Iris Sword Soul, Starlight Rare. That's the best one That's of the three. That's pretty cool. Anything else? That might be it. I mean, that's a sick collection for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. We're almost at 100,000. We're going to be doing some more epic openings when we get there and before, of course. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Toe and Fosho, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. I'll see you guys later. Peace.